Janik Sinner. Hi everyone, Mario here, and without a doubt, this Italian player is on everybody's radar as one of the most dangerous players on the tour today. No one is going to be happy to draw him on the first round on any tournament. Today, we're going to analyze one of his most dangerous weapons, his forehand. But before that, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. It will be greatly appreciated. Okay, on to Janik Sinner's forehand. Sinner has what we call today the next gen forehand. First, the grip. We're gonna use the semi-western grip because it's the most widely used grip out there in the Pro Tour today. An easy way to get the semi-western grip is uh, imagine the racket is sitting on a table and you put the hand on top of it, not on the side, but on top. And that is going to be very close to give you the semi-Western grip. Once you get the grip, make sure your fingers are spread apart. You can also do the next-gen forehand with an Eastern grip or a full Western grip. For example, Tsitsipas does the next-gen forehand and he uses an Eastern grip. And Karen Hashanov uses the full Western grip, and he also does the next gen forehand. So it is not a grip dependent swing. You can do it with any grip. So let's check out Janik Sinner's forehand. The first thing when you look at him from the side, Janik turns his body and keeps the racket very straight. A lot of the players actually move the racket here. He doesn't, he keeps it straight like this. And then the left hand stays in the racket a little longer. Once it gets to here, he lets go. Oh, and the left hand stays on the side. The racket keeps moving backwards until it gets to this point, which is the position the next-gen forehand is known for. So now this is the next-gen forehand. The racket is basically parallel to the ground. From the front, it will look something like this. He starts, body turn, arm here. Let's go, left arm stays here. And this left arm is very important as it's gonna measure the distance. It's for balance and distance. He's gonna put the arm here and when the ball is coming, if he has the perfect distance, it's gonna look in the distance as if it is about this far from the hand. When Sinner takes the racket back, he lowers it a little. Some players like Nick Curious has it way up. And Janik lowers it a little. Once the racket is back here, the trajectory of the racket happens all on this side. Nothing goes back there. A lot of WTA forehands go back here. And 99% of the ATP forehands stay on this side. Once he starts the swing very fast, the racket it's gonna do a full revolution into the ball from here to here to here. When the racket starts to go forward, the left arm starts to wipe across, stops here, hips are now facing forward, And then he does the windshield wiper motion. 
for anyone practicing this forehand, I would advise to catch the racket at the end so you actually finish that windshield wiper motion here. But hardly any of the pros do it as the racket head speed is so fast, they actually go here and then they finish the windshield wiper and the racket does this. When the swing starts back here, this full revolution of the racket hitting the ball on the windshield wiper happens in a flash, happens very fast. There is no slowing down between here and the end of the follow through. That full revolution creates a huge amount of racket head speed. So when the racket starts to move that fast, it creates this racket face right here. Impossible to do slow. You couldn't, even if you try, it's very hard to make your wrist go back there. It only happens because the racket head speed is so fast. It makes the wrist go back and forth. This full revolution the racket takes It's a quarter of a revolution more than the modern forehand, which because the racket can gather a little bit more speed because that extra quarter of a revolution, it creates more topspin, it makes the ball heavier and improves consistency as the ball is spinning a lot more. Italy right now is in the middle of a tennis revolution. Berrettini came in the scene a couple of years ago, top 10 in the world last year, and he has the next gen forehand. So that's Sonego, obviously Sinner, and Musetti as well. So congratulations to Italy and anyone teaching tennis over there for doing a great job doing so. We are looking forward to see these Italian stars take over the tennis world. And this was a brief summary of how Janik Sinner hits his forehand. Thank you for watching. My name is Mario. You can do it.